Assalamu alaikum, dear students. Uh, welcome to Nuclear Physics Lecture. I'm Dr. Provez Ahmed. In this lecture, we will talk about uh, neutron detection. We will talk about that how neutrons can be uh, detected via uh, different uh, kind of available uh, detectors. So let's start our lecture uh, with the neutron detection. So first of all, uh, we will talk about uh, general uh, detection principle of the neutron. As you know that neutron has a net charge equal to uh, zero, so that's why a neutron cannot be uh, detected directly, just like uh, we detected a proton uh, or a electron, because the proton has a positive charge and uh, electron has a negative charge. But unlike that, neutrons are neutral, so that's why they cannot be detected directly. So there are been principles for our means uh, ways, different ways for uh, indirect detections of the neutron. So uh, let's start with uh, let's start our discussions with the uh, uh, with the principle of uh, uh, journal detection. Uh, the first principle is that uh, neutron detectors uh, do not detect neutrons, but products of the neutron interaction. What means? It means that First of all, uh, neutrons, they are made to interact with the neutron sensitive material. So what are the neutron sensitive materials? The neutron sensitive materials are those material which has a larger cross sections for thermal neutrons. Not only uh, a larger cross section for thermal neutrons, but we need those materials uh, which produce uh, charged particle nuclei by the interactions of the thermal uh, neutron. So this is the first principle. And why is like that? Because uh, you know that in case of the electrons and the protons, when we are trying to detect them, uh, so we need, uh, uh, we need those uh, materials uh, to produce ionization. I mean, we need uh, for the electrons or for the proton to produce ionizations and those ionizations, they are being sensed as the detections uh, for, uh, uh, for the protons and for the electrons. But you know that uh, neutrons do not have the charge, so uh, we, we can get, first of all, uh, we're trying to search for those materials which by uh, neutron detection first generate the data nuclei, and those data nuclei should be the charged nuclei uh, then those charged nuclei, they are made to accelerate inside uh, a particular kind of gas where it's produced uh, uh, the electrons and pair in other sense we said that produce the ionization and those ionizations, they are being sent uh, for uh, the neutrons. So uh, these are the basic uh, detections principle for the neutron detection. So almost all the detector types can be made uh, neutron sensitive. Uh, so uh, for that, uh, I mean, uh, we have to utilize external converters, uh, that is radiators, and uh, the converter, that is uh, the detector. So it's something look like this. I mean, we have radiators, I mean, which uh, emit the radiations, uh, and in the converter, that is uh, uh, the detector. The principle is like uh, that we already uh, mentioned. Okay, so uh, the neutron detections, uh, I mean, what are the, 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 the process of the uh, neutron detection? So the neutron detection process uh, consists of the following uh, five steps. So what actually we have, uh, detections of a neutron is, uh, is a, a sequential process. Uh, what it means, uh, it means that, uh, first of all, uh, we have to make interactions of the incident uh, neutrons, uh, that is uh, neutron transport. I mean, we have, uh, I mean, uh, uh, by interactions of the incident neutron, we mean that, first of all, uh, we should uh, we should make the neutron to interact with a particular kind of the materials. And we already uh, mentioned that those materials uh, should have a larger cross sections for thermal neutron and which ha should have the capability of producing the charged uh, nuclei. So what actually we do in the second step, and the second step, uh, uh, we made a transport of the secondary particles. Secondary particles are those particles 
which are being produced due to the interactions of the neutron beam. So what actually we do, uh, transport of the secondary particles uh, through or within the sensing element. So these are the sensing elements just like you can see here, we have incident radiation in the form of neutrons. So they are being uh, filled here, so here uh, we should have uh, the neutron sensing gas or neutron sensing materials. Uh, so uh, electron, they, uh, I mean uh, when the incident radiation is or the neutron they interact here, they produce a secondary uh, particles, a secondary charged particles uh, as a sensing element uh, and these are, these are being hadrons, ions, port, uh, uh, are photon transport. So what then we have, uh, uh, then we have uh, uh, the primary ionization by secondary particles. I mean as we mentioned uh, that uh, once the neutron uh, enters or interact with the neutron sensitive materials and produce the daughter nuclei, the charged particles nuclei. In the charged particle nuclei, uh, I mean uh, the nuclei that we call the secondary particles, they are made to produce ionization. I mean they have to ionize this particular gas inside the uh, detector chamber. And then uh, they convert it to optical uh, photons uh, or we can say that a gas amplification or transports of the electrons and optical phonons. I mean uh, once the secondary particles uh, they interact with the gas particles inside the detector or uh, uh, with the semiconductor materials. So what actually happens as a result of these interactions, uh, we have uh, uh, electrons ion pair and these electrons ion pair, they are being then accelerated uh, toward their respective electrode that is toward the anode and the cathode uh, with the help of the a voltage supplied from an outside source here you can see it here in this particular kind of uh, gas detectors uh, where uh, these signals uh, they are being uh, uh, means uh, they are being detected uh, they are being detecting uh, uh, in the form of electrical signals uh, which is a sign uh, for uh, the radiation sensing for the neutron uh, sensing so uh, uh, in sample words, uh, neutron detections, uh, I mean neutrons cannot be detected directly. Uh, so what we have to do, we have to make uh, interactions with the atomic uh, nuclei. I mean this is the concept being utilized, that is interaction with the, uh, uh, that is interactions uh, with the atomic nuclei are used. So what actually we do then, uh, neutrons uh, capture then the compound nucleus emits more easily detectable radiations. That is, when a material uh, they capture the neutron, uh, so they emit the detectable radiation like helium 3, uh, lithium 6, boron 10, uranium 233, uranium 235, and plutonium uh, 239. So, what happened then? Uh, we, we can have uh, a sort of the last scattering that is uh, proton retile. Uh, uh, that means that causing the nucleus to be recoil uh, and that is particularly useful for uh, fast neutron uh, detectors. So uh, we have uh, interactions. So uh, by interactions, uh, we mean what we uh, what do we expect? So What do we expect? Uh, it should, uh, I mean, our expectation should be like uh, it should penetrate uh, the matter easily. Uh, why it should penetrate uh, the matter easily? Uh, because uh, uh, it do not have any charge, so there there shouldn't be any repulsion. I mean, uh, since uh, the neutrons do not have any charge, and we are saying that it's uh, electrically neutral, so it should easily penetrate the materials. Uh, then uh, the interactions, uh, uh, the interactions with the uh, interactions with the nuclei, interaction with the nuclei, but not with the electron cloud. I mean, uh, since we know that elect uh, neutrons uh, that do not have uh, the charge, so therefore uh, it cannot uh, interact with the uh, with the electrons uh, with the electron cloud surrounding the. Uh, surrounding the nucleus, uh, it do have the spin, 
uh, but you know that the magnitude, uh, I mean, so that the size or the energy of the neutron is very, very high as compared to, or very, very large as compared to that of the electron. So that's why uh, we're saying that, uh, I mean, the, the interaction with the nuclei, we expect the interaction with the nuclei uh, and not with the electron crowd around the nucleus. Uh, similarly, we expect uh, we expect the neutron uh, to be sensitive to the magnetic properties of the uh, material. And the materials we mentioned that it could be the one which has a larger cross section for thermal neutrons, and only it could be sensitive to uh, the neutron. Uh, uh, the interactions of the neutron with the material should be uh, spin dependent interactions because there is no charge, but the, uh, but the neutrons uh, it do have the spins and all the properties that is the magnetic properties or the magnetic movements of the neutron is due to the spin movements of the uh, neutron. So this is why we say that uh, we have to expect uh, the spin dependent interactions of neutrons uh, with the material. So uh, properties are energy dependent, only particle which shows all the interactions that is strong electromagnetic weak and uh, gravitations. I mean, these are some of the expectations uh, which we believe that it should happen when the interactions uh, of the neutron happen uh, uh, with a kind of uh, materials. So uh, that's all uh, we have for uh, the detection of the neutrons. So uh, see you in next lecture with further uh, detail and nuclear uh, civics. Tell them bye-bye.